Hi there, and welcome to Blue Paint Horse Studio. This is Tamara Maitra. I am the artist that you are currently watching there on your screen. This is a brand new project that uh, I started last week. And it has been a project in the making for quite some time. It's a very large uh, project um, that has five different pictures in one, four of which are landscapes. One of them is not going to be very big at all. It's just that little thin uh, area right in the center of the four frames. And I took the um, painter's tape that you see there and I actually laid it in on the inside of each square and painted all of the borders, including the gallery wrap around the uh, edge, the gallery wrap of the canvas. I painted it with Mars Black. I'm actually missing that clip currently, um, unfortunately, so I cannot find it anywhere. I have recently changed video editors, and I, the, I'm still experiencing a big old learning, clur learning curve with it, and I can't talk. But, um, so forgive me that that's missing, but you will be able to see the framing and it's basically the opposite of what you're seeing there. Once the paint dried, I went back and reframed each panel with blue painters tape using my thumbnail, really pressed it down on the edges. Um, I got very slight bleeding here and there, and I think it's mostly because the canvas just does have imperfections, so it's not going to be difficult for me at all to... Um, get those straightened out, those edges straightened out again with a liner brush later on. So this painting has four larger landscapes. This is one of the large, there's two of them that are the same size and two of them that are slightly smaller. This is one of the larger ones. This all comes from a good friend of mine. Um, he went on an Alaskan cruise a couple years ago brought back these beautiful pictures and wanted to memorialize his trip and I he and I sat down and and were troubleshooting we were trying to figure out which painting to paint which picture we wanted to turn into a painting and he had so many shots that he loved that meant something to him from that trip that I came up with the idea of doing a collage canvas where there's again four different pictures on one so this is the first one it is a distant scene of really beautiful sharp jagged mountains and you can see that I was just freehanding the outline with um, grapevine charcoal it's one of my favorite things to use to draw on the canvas it disappears so quickly with acrylics which are water-based it doesn't leave lines like graphite can uh, sometimes graphite you know you can totally use graphite to your advantage I use it sometimes and it's very easy to you seal it with a paint and then you just recoat it but sometimes when you're working a light color into another light color that graphite line will really stand out and it's very difficult to cover so I do prefer the uh, grapevine charcoal it's pretty cheap <laughs> you can use it as much as you want it's not a big deal and it disappears pretty quickly here I'm putting in the underpainting as I always do and uh, these mountains were just magnificent huge huge peaks I've personally never been to Alaska I really want to go one day it looks beautiful um, all the pictures I've seen of it are just gorgeous very uh, wild up there so I'm very uh, happy to be doing these it feels like I'm taking a little mini vacation as I'm painting these beautiful scenes without having to spend the money or the time away from work. <laughs> so, um, they're very jagged peaks. They're not very uh, accurately drawn. They are semi-accurately drawn. However, I had to stretch a 4x6 photograph over a rectangle, as you can see, which is proportionately longer than a 4x6 would be. And um, so he's not really a mountaineer per se. He doesn't live there. These peaks aren't in uh, his backyard or anything. So I feel comfortable taking liberties with them. If this was for someone who actually lived in Alaska, I would probably be a lot more careful 
with the peaks and where they are because you know people learn their environment they know their mountains i'm sure if they live around them they're used to seeing them and if i threw extra peaks or stretch something out they would be like yeah that's not right that's not what that looks like but in this case i uh, felt very comfortable not worrying about that so much and just getting the basic overall effect that the photograph had there's that white ribbon in the sky or it's like cutting the the background mountains off that white ribbon was actually a band of clouds in the photograph that was kind of hard to see and I then when I blew it up a little bit on my phone I realized oh those are clouds and so the photograph is a, a beautiful photograph it's just small I did not scan it in um, I currently don't have a working scanner so I just used my phone I took a picture of the picture and opened it up I also altered it to see how the um, adjustments could work for me I like to do that sometimes with color color enhancement uh, it's a very simple it's just an editing app on a phone it's not even an iPhone or anything it's just a little uh, what kind of phone is that LG I think it's a smartphone but it's an LG not the not a current one either I don't spend gobs of money on phones I have to buy recording equipment now so <laughs> um, it's a very simple editor I opened it up and enhanced the what do you call that oh boy that word just left my mind completely mm, give me a second give me a second here <laughs> it's when you make things deeper and darker contrast oh my goodness can you believe it I promise I draw and paint all the time and know about contrast <laughs> I just can't find that word in my brain when I need it anyway so I uh, made the contrast much more dramatic uh, or deeper or whatever you want to however you want to word that on my phone and I realized that the foreground mountains were in shadow and it looked better more dramatic so I enhanced that myself in the painting and I'm really pleased with the results the only part of this clip you're gonna be seeing is the underpainting and I will soon have the next video uh, once I get it edited properly again learning curve with the software so hopefully that'll be soon and I'm very sorry about the gap between the last video that I uploaded and this one there's a huge gap that I was not intentional it was over the holidays and I came down with a very bad sinus infection and cold so all over pretty much most of December I couldn't talk so <laughs> I saved some of the clips that I did for the anime painting that I did for my son it's just fan art but I could not uh, when I downloaded it I lost the beginning and the end which to me the middle part is the most boring of course it's all the ugly stages and it's just not as interesting if you don't have the ending tada painting and so I decided to discard that project completely and just start this one fresh for the fresh new year so that's those are all my excuses for not having anything <laughs> uploaded I think it was the entire month of December and here we are halfway through January so forgive me I, I do plan on doing a lot more video uploads um, once I get the hang of the video editing software that I have I think it'll come a lot quicker so you can see that there's a bunch of layers I like to layer from back to front to create the distance as much as I can this is very helpful because of course they have layers of mountains and clouds and sky and foreground and the foreground has many layers in it too so the more layers you have from front to back in a landscape the more depth you create the more feeling of depth you create which to me is is very important with something so grand as these jagged Alaskan mountains right now I'm just killing the white of the canvas with the underpainting that's what I like to call it when I'm just trying to get some values down I do try to match usually the darkest value 
in the thing that I'm painting. So you can see how light those background mountains are going to actually be. And the foreground mountains, which seem to be in some kind of shadow or shade or just out of the sun, maybe it's just the back side of a mountain. The mountains can be dramatically different from one side to another. They really uh, block the sun when you're in them. So we've got a nice clear blue sky. And then those nice low hanging clouds. I was a little nervous about those to make sure that I pulled it off that they were that was a look of a band of clouds sitting there clinging clinging to that portion of the of the landscape. I did draw that I'm going to call it a horizon line even though the mountains are above it. Um, but I did draw that with a ruler. I made sure that it was parallel with the bottom. I think to me that's very important in a landscape. Um, if you have a straight line to make it really straight and actually parallel to the bottom. It, the line itself can have variations, you know, obviously land is not perfectly straight, but just as far as your eye goes, your eye line, it, it's fairly the same and regular from one side to the other. If there were hills, of course, you wouldn't have to worry about that. You would paint hills, but there weren't. There was just like this nice flat valley going up to the ends of the mountains. Not worried about brush strokes. I have to go over all of this at least one more time. Some of them multiple times. So you see the distance again, even with the foreground, which is basically tops of trees and some brush, but mostly just tops of trees. Uh, I'm still going from a lighter value, almost a, a turquoise green but shaded with some white and going to a deeper green in the foreground. And that's going to be all for this video. Thank you for joining me. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I do have a lot more up-to-date photographs of um, how the progress is coming but I will have another video coming out soon. And it's that panel is actually finished now, so that should be good. Uh, thank you again for listening. This is Tamara Matra. I'm Blue Paint Horse on Instagram, Facebook slash Tamara Matra, T-O-M-A-R-A-M-A-I-T-R-A. -A -A. Thank you again for listening. I'll talk to y'all soon.